Are you being objective uh, with your analysis of your uh, current situation in dating? Uh, something really funny happened this week, which I think, think was really interesting. I, had, I have a new client and uh, he's obviously into dating and relationships and cold approach. Uh, he's looking for a girlfriend and so he's doing some research, right? He actually read my book too. And uh, so we had a chat uh, and it seemed like he was going very well. He talked me into it. If, if anything, I was thinking maybe I should do a boot camp with him. He's really good at this. <laughs> uh, he was telling me how awesome his cold approach has been going. Uh, he hasn't done a boot camp before. He doesn't have any wings. He's only really told his friends about the stuff that he's found online. Um, He's done a bit of research, obviously, and uh, he did have one success uh, before he contacted me where he met a girl and, and they went pretty much out straight away and they ended up back at his place the same day. Uh, so it sounded very, very promising and I, I was questioning, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should do a boot camp with him and what's going on here? He's, he must be going really well. I, I couldn't really understand it or comprehend it. And I'm going to give you my take on that right now. Uh, but before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS novel dating advice for the modern man. If you want some one on one coaching with me, top link in the description, uh, or running boot camps anywhere in the world. Uh, that's in the top of the description, in the, the link in the top, uh, top link in the description. So, uh, it was very interesting to hear from him, and I, I just thought this was really interesting. And uh, some of you guys that have done coaching with me, you, re you know after a short period of time that I put a lot of time and effort into trying to get the best out of you guys. I will do my best to try and get the best out of you. And this guy was just phone conversations and it turns out he didn't live too far from me. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go uh, search him out. I'm going to find him. Uh, I'm going to go to his suburb and just check it out, which is something that I, I quite often do. Uh, and, and if you live in one suburb, that's where you're going to do the vast majority of your cold approach. If you're traveling an hour away, it's going to be tough, even half an hour away. It just, it just makes it tough for you. You have to be really, the most efficient ways, uh, meeting girls in your general vicinity. Uh, and if your location's not good enough, you're going to have to move. That's just the reality of the situation. So. I went down there and, and on the phone, uh, it sounded like he didn't need any help at all. It sounded like, I was, I was wondering, I was, well, what's going on here? He was talking a big game and uh, it's, it sounded like he was doing quite well. He just needed more girls to come in. Um, and so anyway, I thought, okay, obviously for free, I'm going to go meet him. I'm going to find him and uh, I just wanted to figure out what was going on. Uh, I met up with him and then I ran through a few things. I thought, okay, well, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. How about we do a few approaches here? We, And I'm like, okay, stay there. I'm going to demonstrate what I think you should be doing every day at this specific location. Um, there's another nice, there's a bit of flow. People come out and they walk around there. How about I demonstrate another approach? I demonstrated, I don't know, five, six, 10 times, something like that. Uh, and then he, uh, I asked him, I said, can you show me, you know, what you're doing? And he, uh, he couldn't do it. <laughs> um, he kind of freaked out, froze. It was like, oh, oh, I was like, uh, how about I mic you up? And I, um, I hear how you're going. Uh, and it went from over the phone being uh, super duper awesome. <laughs> <laughs> to in person not being able to really do a, a, an approach and I also realized that the girls that he was approaching because he's a relatively successful good-looking guy the the girls that he were was talking to were way beneath his mate value uh, so they were they were not intimidating approaches they were girls that were pretty much yes girls that uh, he didn't really. He just needed to present himself to them. Uh, it's pretty much like a, a tall white American guy uh, arriving in Brazil and swiping right on Tinder. It's literally that easy uh, for this type of guy with his mate value meeting girls way beneath his mate value. So uh, 
this was what he was really doing. And when I came out and found out, I realized, oh, okay, so he's a little bit intimidated to be approaching the girls that are on his level, let alone the girls way above his level. And that's really what we're aiming for. Uh, game is getting girls above your mate le level. So you, you, you meet a girl that's above your level, you're more likely to want to make her your girlfriend. You're more likely to go, you know, you don't really just punch down and just sleep with lots of girls beneath you because eventually you something happens to your looks, you get old, etc. And all of the girls around you, are, they, they slowly catch up and, and, and you've got no girls left that are w really going to want to sleep with you. So uh, what you do is you, while you are attractive and young and you've got everything going for you, uh, you aim for the, the, the absolute pinnacle. You, you, you try and pierce the ceiling as to what you can get. Uh, and then we work our way back. And then you find yourself generally a girlfriend that is, you don't see... Uh, uh, the opposite is true with most men they they, they literally just grab what they can uh, and then they're not happy and then they end up sleeping with many different girls and uh, because they're not happy with any of them uh, but once once you get that girl that's really intimidating to approach and you get her then you're really happy in fact so uh, so there's a pr few problems and I realized that obviously just approaching was an issue for him and so therefore there was this delusional kind of mindset where uh if anything when i was talking to him it was almost as if he was uh challenging uh me or uh, like it was as if like he was kind of talking a big game as if like he had better game than me or something like that uh and in practice he uh couldn't even really approach so uh, i have realized that uh, amongst a lot of men where they they feel that they are getting results uh, like I, I was thinking about a, an old movie that I saw it was like a cowboy movie where this cowboy was riding on a horse through the desert and there's this girl uh, that he saw in that part of the desert uh, like 10 years prior and today he's still telling his friends about the girl that he met 10 years ago uh, and it it's something built into men, I think, to make them feel satisfied with their poor results. If, if someone these days getting dating advice was to get laid 10 years ago <laughs> and still be talking about it today, that would be horrendous, wouldn't it? Uh, but uh, generally with all of the tools at our disposal, information, coaches like me out there uh, that can get the best out of you, um, uh, your results probably should be a lot better than you think and if you objectively and we get rid of the ego you start to actually have a look at what you're doing and how you're going about it and what results you really are getting uh, they're probably not as good as you actually think they are uh, and depending on what your mate value is and what advantages you do have, you might be punching way beneath uh, your level. You might be dating girls that just uh, you you're not attracted to, and you you just yeah you you're you, you're doing game on easy level, which is not game. And so uh, I've learnt that recently that there's a lot of guys that uh, continuously. Uh, believe that they're like a player like there's one guy uh, in particular that uh, has a wife now and he always talks about you know that time where I I could have had the hottest girl in high school <laughs> and he's still talking about it 10 20 years later uh, when he his mate value is higher now because he's got all this money he's doing he's very successful he's probably a, a, a lot better looking uh, relative terms to when he was in high school and he could still get the hottest girl in high school today <laughs> uh, but he's not aware of that because he's in this delusional mind state uh, and not objectively looking at the situation if that makes any sense hopefully this vi video made sense to you guys uh, but I also feel that it is something that is uh, built into society to keep society safe because if men didn't have that ego and men didn't feel like 
they were getting results when objectively they're not. Uh, they would be unhappy, they would be more likely to get violent, they would be more likely to want more from society. Uh, but having men uh, have this something internally keeping them um, feeling like they are successful when they're not uh, prevents them from striving for more and that to some extent I think keeps society safe. Maybe it's a form of Darwinism, maybe it's because uh, the men that uh, become monogamous early and marry early they reproduce and as we all know uh, uh, you have twice as many female ancestors than men so 50% of society of the current population of men will not reproduce and so if the 50% of men that are going to reproduce are the men that uh, are extremely monogamous, get married early, reproduce, just focus on one girl and uh, pay taxes and do everything like that and they're the type of guys that focus on that and they have inside them this belief that they're a player and that they, um, they're very successful with women when objectively they're not and the other 50% of men who are the real degenerates and the real players are out there sleeping with all these girls but they don't end up reproducing then those genes of the monogamous men are passed down form a Darwinism it's almost like uh, when you think about uh, dogs and cats you know the if a dog's very violent and aggressive it gets put down it doesn't get to reproduce and then we just keep um, uh, only the friendly dogs uh, get to reproduce and we've gone from wolves to right now we have these like little fluffy white things <laughs> because I just and that's uh, that's my uh, idea on what could be happening with no understanding of science okay I don't know anything about science but that's just my thoughts on the matter um, and um, it makes sense in my pseudoscience mind and I thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, but for you at home, you might be sitting there thinking that you're a player, uh, but with some objective analysis, and if I was to meet you in person and go, okay, show me what you got, uh, there's a very good chance um, that when the, um, the tread hits the runway and we have that friction, you might not be the player that you think. And if we objectively go through what you've done over the last week, day, month, year, um, and uh, what your mate value level is, you might be underestimating what your mate value is. Uh, you might be far more valuable than you actually think you are and therefore you should be aiming for girls that are a lot higher uh, on the spectrum, higher in the hierarchy of uh, beauty and status than you probably think. So anyway, that's my... Uh, analysis of that. I thought it was interesting to see that uh, this week because on the phone, I uh, listening to him, I thought that he was, yeah, gee, wow, he read a few books and watched a few videos and now he's a, now he's a slayer. Um, uh, but it was just kind of all talk. And then also when I think about it, uh, how many uh, coaches out there talk a big game? And so I was thinking, if he can talk a big game over the phone, imagine all these other coaches out there. But anyway, uh, if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, top link in the description, my book's in the description, my autobiography. And um, click the subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.